everyone, I hope you guys are doing really well. I have a bunch of good mommy stuff I wanted to share with you guys. I shared a couple of things on Instagram and then a couple of people said, can I see a closer look of my photo journal? We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but I have a couple of things I wanted to show you guys. The first thing is I cleaned out our medicine cabinet. When was it? Like a week ago of all of our vitamins because I felt like I was becoming a vitamin hoarder. But I had so many vitamins in my cabinet that were like expired like two years ago. I'm like, why, why do I still have these? So anyways, cleared out my medicine cabinet and then I replaced them with these. So I thought I would show you guys. These are from everydayhappy.com. I think I shared their diapers. So I started taking omega-3 vitamins when I was pregnant with baby number two, I want to say. Um, my doctor just said there's so many, so many benefits to omega-3, so I have been taking omega-3 since then. I remember even after giving birth, um, them saying that it was good for the baby through my breast milk and it actually made my breast milk more fatty. I'm pretty sure it was omega-3. Was it omega-3? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was omega-3. Anyways, so I've been taking these. Um, these are from everydayhappy.com. They also have like... Um, diapers and all this other stuff that is good for babies and moms so anyways I replaced my other ones with these ones the omega-3 and then also the everyday happy daily multivitamins which is really good I thought was really cute what came with these is this little pill box which is funny because I actually lost my pill box and I couldn't find it so what's really nice about this pill box too is that there's four compartments so you could separate them and just keep it in your bag so for those days where you're in a rush in the morning or you forgot to take your vitamins, you can always put extra in there. Like I do that especially with my uh, vitamin B12 and B6 for energy. Um, but anyways, yeah, so check them out if you have never heard of Everyday Happy. They're all about the mamas. Okay, I feel like this is the big item I need to share. So the other day my best friend was over and we've been friends since high school. She just had her third baby. And we were talking about how we have started so many journals since our babies were born, you know? Because you're always like, oh, I need to remember this or I want to remember this. And you think you're going to remember things, but you don't. Like, there's so many things, even with my 8-year-old, that I don't remember that I wish that I had written down more. So we were talking about how we need to journal more and then we started talking about polaroid cameras so we started talking about this little polaroid camera and we we're like oh my goodness we should get a polaroid camera and do like a photo journal that way you know just you don't have to do this every day just every once in a while take a picture and if it's blurry it's blurry if it's not you know centered or whatever that's the beauty of the polaroid i feel like you really capture the moments and i feel like it will motivate me to journal more and I just felt like oh my gosh this is the best idea ever so both of us being very anxious we both got on Amazon I was on my computer she was on her phone and we both ordered these and they were next day like shipping free um, so on Amazon this was $65 at Michael's I want to say it was like 112 or something like that um, the film is kind of expensive I want to say for 10 uh, no, for 20 it was $15, so you kind of have to put that into consideration too. That's why, for me, I wouldn't be able to take just as many pictures as I want because the film's expensive. But anyways, I just thought every once in a while or we're doing something special or I see a moment or just, you know, I can just take a picture and I can just write something really quick about what's going on, what we did that day. And at least even if I don't do it every day, it's not that big of a deal, but I do capture moments and I remind myself to write down little things. I'll show you guys. I've only done like three pages, but I thought I'd show you guys. Um, and I have to tell myself too, Jeannie, just do this like jotting down notes because the perfectionist in me after I did the first couple of pages was like, I need to take this out and redo it so it looks better. But I'm like, no, this is the beauty of journaling that it should just be whatever. Anyways. So this is the first page. I took a picture of my husband and our kids. And this was the day we got the camera. And I just said, these are my people and this is our story. And then I just used washi tape to stick it in. This book is from Michael's. It's just a sketchbook. But I wanted this book because the pages are a little bit thicker. That way, you know, the marker is not going to bleed and everything. And then the next day, me and my little daughter, we were making Play-Doh cupcakes. And she just looks so cute. So I took a picture of her and then I put the date here because I want to remember what date it was. 
And then I just wrote little things about her. I said, this is my sweetie Evie making Play-Doh cupcakes. And then I kind of wrote down things that she says right now that are funny or cute. Um, I put a stamp here that said, remember this, and I want to remember some of the memories. And then um, I kind of said what we did that day and then her favorite colors. And like I said, I did more, I feel like, because I just got this. And then the following day, we had a birthday party for my two-year-old. So I took a picture of all the kids that were at the party. And then I just kind of wrote down what he was like at two years old, um, what his favorite things were, and then a couple things that my other kids said that day that were like cute and memorable. Um, and then on his actual birthday, this is the one I made. And it just says, Enoch turns two. And I took a picture of him as soon as he woke up. I just there's something about them when they first wake up and they smile at you that's like so beautiful so anyways I did that and then I just wrote a little letter to him it just says to my sweet Enoch and then I wrote down a little letter to him love mom and that's where it ends I took I had a picture yesterday but I just thought even if I do this just a couple of times a year you know I want something that my kids can look back on or my grandkids can look back on and be like this is what life was like you know when you were three or five or whatever so anyways I thought I would share that with you because I feel like anytime I shared that I was doing this with one of my mom friends they were so excited and they wanted to do it too so I feel like I should work on commission for this Polaroid camera just saying okay now like I said it was my two-year-old birthday so I wanted to show you two of his favorite toys my sister is the best gift giver in the universe somehow she always knows exactly what everyone will love to death so she got him this little thomas the train case and they're mini little trains they go in the compart there's like one little piece of train in each compartment and then you can actually link them and they can just go around the circle here and he has played with this all day every day since he got it and the first thing he says when he wakes up is mom choo choo train <laughs> thomas and so i just it's so cute because you can carry it around with you um so that is definitely a favorite for us i think this was kind of more of a favorite for me because i was like what is that my friend got this for him you put this on your lap and the steering wheel turns let me turn it on And there's a little car I don't know if you can see it and so this is on your lap and you like drive through the town this is amazing I don't know if you can see that but anyway she got this at Target and I was like what is that and I've been playing with it a lot because I just think it's so so cute okay you guys and then the last thing is kind of like a hygiene health thing <sighs> You guys know that I have been homeschooling and this year we sent our kids to school. Now one of my biggest fears of public school was not bullying, was not this, was not that. One of my biggest fears was head lice. Um, I just, I have a lot of hair. My eight year old has a ton of hair. I just, lice scares me because I remember as a child getting lice. Now the last time I went to visit my sister in San Francisco, I was giving the kids a bath and she had these huge tubs of shampoo and I was like, what kind of shampoo is that? I've never seen it before. And she goes, oh, it's called Fairy Tales. She goes, Jeannie, like you need to get this for your kids. And I was like, it smells like the spa, like it must be super expensive. And she goes, oh no, I get it because it's a lice repellent. She was just like, when my daughter went to daycare, so many kids had lice and her daughter has like twice as much hair as me and her daughter did not catch any so i took a picture of the shampoo and i came home and i googled it and i looked it up on amazon and it's called fairy tales and um it's a rosemary repel conditioning spray it's like all natural they have um shampoo conditioner i got the conditioning spray because my girl especially my older one has so much hair and I have to use conditioning spray anyways. So it has pure rosemary, citronella, tea tree, it, the oils soften, detangle, and, and eliminate frizzies, and it helps prevent head lice. Um, so after I do her hair, I just spray her head, and I don't even know if anybody at her school has lice, 
but I spray it because I don't want her to get it. Now, with that said, I, when I was, you guys know that I read reviews before I buy anything. I feel like I read like a thousand reviews. If you just start reading the reviews on Amazon for this stuff, oh my gosh, you guys, I feel itchy just talking about it. Are you like that? Like if I talk about anything bugsy, I get itchy. Anyways, if you just read any review on Amazon, you will be like, I need to get that stuff. So, um, how much was this? I feel like the conditioning spray was about $10, I want to say. Um, next time I might get the shampoo too. I just feel like even if I use the shampoo, I might use the spray as well. So I was like, why not just get the spray? I just feel like it is worth it. Do you guys want me to read the back? Okay, this is what it says, because I'm all about what bottles say on the back. It says, a spray a day keeps the lice away. Organic herbs of rosemary, citronella, tea tree, and peppermint soften, detangle, eliminate frizzies, and proven to help prevent head lice. No pesticides, chemicals, parabens, or toxins formulated without any nut oil, dairy, gluten, or soy. Um, spray through damp hair or dry hair and brush through. Use each day before school, camp, or daycare. Spray behind the ears, back of neck, and top of shoulders for extra protection. Now, like I said, it smells like the spa to me because it smells very like that natural, I don't even know what you, like it smells like the Aveda spa. That's what it smells like to me. And I love that it's like chemical free and whatever. I heard that it's just the lice doesn't like the smell of it, so they won't jump on your head. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. But anyways, it works. I've read the reviews. I don't know if anyone at my kid's school has lice, but they don't have lice. So I'm just going to keep spraying this in their hair until we start homeschooling again because I'm that paranoid. So anyways, if that is something that is a irrational fear of yours as well, you might want to get this. It's called Fairy Tales. I'm sure they have a website somewhere too, but I got it off of Amazon because Amazon is my best friend. So anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys like those favorites. I am a sweaty, sweaty mess, so I'm going to go inside, but I will talk to you guys later and I hope you guys are all doing well.